how to change your Shopify background to an image. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I will be giving you a quick tutorial on how you can take your Shopify store and upgrade it to the next level with a background image. So let's get into it. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, adding an image to the back, you know, adding an image banner. Let's say you want an overarching image that is in the background of your entire Shopify store. So you can see from the top of my screen to the bottom, I want it to be everywhere. And this is not available directly via the Shopify store editor. You actually have to do some coding for this. And don't worry, I will simplify this step by step for you. And the code that you need to input, I will leave that in the description box down below or as a pinned comment so you guys can just copy and paste that just as I will tell you guys so you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to search it or anything. So let's get into it. Now, this is the store. It's called Dirt and Clothing and I want to add a background picture. Now, for this, first off, I'm going to use a very saturated image, and then I would recommend that you make your image slightly more translucent before you apply it as a background. That is totally up to you, but that is what I usually do like to do when I'm doing this professionally for other people. Now, once you have created your Shopify store, you're just going to go into your Shopify dashboard. Once you click on that, you can click on your online store. Once you click on your online store over here, you can click on these three dots. So this is the theme. This is like the very basic theme that most people have automatically when they uh, set up Shopify. And you're just going to click on these three dots over here and you will click on edit code. So once you click on edit code, you know, close these and just open up assets. So in your assets, you're just going to find, you know, a bunch of different things. And then below that, you have your locales, but you're going to go into assets and you're just going to go ahead and go to the bottom. So you're just going to go to the bottom of your assets. And then what you're going to do is this is the code over here that I have. You're just going to copy this code, click on copy. That is it. This will be in the description box. You can copy it as it is. And then on the bottom of your assets list, you're just going to paste this. Once you have pasted this, you're going to copy the image URL that you want to enter. So let's say uh, I have this image in my downloads over here. So let's say I want to take this image that I have as a download. How do I get a URL for this image? Well, for that, you're going to go into pasteboard.co and you're just going to select the image that you want to use as your background. And I'm going to click on upload. So once I have uploaded this image, I will get a link and I will copy this link. Then I will go back into the Shopify code. And then on the bottom where I pasted my code, you have this URL bracket. In the bracket, you're going to cut this uh, little uh, sample URL and paste your new URL. And you're going to leave the brackets as they are. So you're just going to leave that as it is. Once you have done that, you're going to click on save. And once you have saved that, you can exit your store. And now we're going to click on view your store over here. So we're just making sure we are refreshing our page. So my image has a issue, I think. So I'm going to take another sample image like this one. I'm just going to copy this and then paste this instead. Now I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to exit and now I will view my store. So you can see the image has been added. I think I was having some issues with the pasteboard link that I got. It might be due to that, but uh, you can use any other platform to upload your images. Uh, I don't know why this issue just happened, but you can use uh, any other platform like remove.bg. That's another platform where you can upload your files. But you can see now if I go into my uh, Shopify store, I have this background, a overarching background from the top to the bottom. So my header, footer, everything is uh, has this background. Now, this can be a really amazing thing to build a cohesive little theme. And if you want to add more customizations to this, you can go into Canva and uh, you can design your own uh, backgrounds you can add multiple different features in your background but let's say just as an example i can go into the elements and let's say i want to make this my background so i can just create this and maybe i want lines on it so let's say i want to add this to my background so i can just expand it like so so i have this now i can click on share click on download 
download this as a PNG or JPEG, whatever you might want. I'm just going to download it. And once I have downloaded it, you're just going to go into any kind of free image hosting. You have image BB, click on start uploading, and you're just going to upload your image. So I have this image over here and now I can click on upload and the image has been uploaded. Now I have a viewer link. I have a HTML full link, a HTML thumbnail link. Now I'm just going to get a full HTML link and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back into my Shopify store just showing you guys another example of how quick and easy it is once you've added your basic code. Go into your assets, go to the bottom of your asset code, and then you're going to paste your new JPEG like so. Click on save. And once the asset has been saved, the image will be updated. So I'm just going to get a basic viewer link and use that one instead because sometimes if the image resolution is not high enough you're not going to get a background so uh, you want to make sure that the resolution or the size of the image is fitting and for that i am going to show you guys some other codes that you can actually use that will enable you to copy a item so that will allow you to basically have you know a smaller image and then add a uh you know replicate the smaller image over and over again instead of having to create a larger image the asset itself will be copied and pasted over the entire background of your shopify store so now i'm just going to recheck what the store is currently looking like so you can see our image banner is not being added due to the lower resolution because i created it in a very small resolution now, if you want to change that, you can go on to w3schools.com. These are more complicated codes, but you also have codes for things such as a conic gradient. So a uh, it will set like, you know, a gradient as a image background. Then you also have linear gradients, radial gradients, repeating conic gradients, um, linear gradients, initials, as well as inherit. So let's say that I want to have a, a repeating linear gradient. I can just click on that. Then for that, I'm just going to copy this like so to add this code. I'm just going to go back into my code section, click on customize, click on edit code, go back into my assets. All of this is going to be added to the assets. So once I have that, I'm just going to paste it like this. You can click on save and then you can refresh your page and view it. Now for that, you also have to add color values. So you have red, yellow, green, you have to specify colors as well. So let's say I don't want any of this. So for that, I can just remove the entire code like this, click on paste. So now I just remove the code as it was. Now there are multiple other features you can do, but for this, I do think that you need to be a little careful if you're just a beginner and you want to make sure that you're not, you know, missing the code of other sections. Just close the template and layout, go directly to assets, go into the video section or just go into the bottom of your assets. So you just want to click on assets like here and whatever you're going to do, you want to do it in that section, not in, you know, the template section or any other section. So just click on assets over here. And you can also click on add new asset and create a blank file, enter a file name and add extensions in that way. But I do think that it's a lot easier if you go into the base CSS. So making sure you are using the base CSS as the section where you are adding your uh, customization. So you don't want to do that in any other section because it might, um, you know, uh, disturb the rest of your uh, background. So let's say I do this. I have a repeating linear gradient like that. And then you can check how the gradient is going to appear on your uh, image or on your uh, background. So I'm just going to click on over here. So I am just adding the base code once more, pasting my little image link, the image that I want as my background. 
then I'm going to give it a space and you can see you have your background uh, size, your background position, your background color. So you can add all of these, uh, you know, custom codes, but I'm going to go directly into the uh, CSS function and you're just going to go into your CSS functions on the W3 schools. You can just search for this link and uh, let's say that I want to have a repeating linear gradient. So you can just click on this. And then you can click on this like so, copy this, add this to below your section like this. And let's say we're just going to save this for now. And you're going to remove any variants that you have of the image like this so it's easier for it to be added. And now I'm just, you know, making a couple of more changes, but you can see that you can add any kind of image in the background of your uh, Shopify store. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.